Hello! In this video, you'll learn how to add Hyper-V standalone host or a Hyper-V failover cluster to the Nakivo backup and replication inventory. First, in the main menu, click Settings. Then go to the Inventory tab and press Add New to open the wizard. On the Type tab, select Microsoft Hyper-V host or cluster and click Next. On the Options tab, fill out the fields that appear as follows. In the display name, enter the name that will be displayed in the inventory. Choose either a standalone Hyper-V V host or a Hyper-V failover cluster from the menu in the type field. For the host name or IP field, insert the host name or IP address of the Hyper-V server. For Hyper-V failover clusters, Enter the IP address or domain name of one of the cluster members and the list of cluster members will be retrieved automatically. For user and password, make sure you use administrator credentials for admin access to the Hyper-V server. Finally, specify the WS MAN port number or leave the default value of 5986. Click Finish and wait for the process of adding Hyper-V servers to complete. When adding a new Microsoft Hyper-V server to the inventory, Nakivo Backup and Replication automatically installs the transporter service onto the server. This transporter service reads data from the source VMs during backup and replication. As you see, the Hyper-V host was successfully added to the inventory. Click on the host to see the virtual machines in the host. You can refresh the host, edit the integration, or remove the integration manually. Click Close to go to the dashboard and start protecting your Hyper-V environment. This concludes the process of adding a Hyper-V host or a Hyper-V failover cluster to the Nikivo Backup and Replication Inventory. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video.